Good morning everyone and welcome back to the next episode of Take One In when I fix old shit and uh, bring Take One In. Uh, that's still the important part of this process. And uh, yesterday uh, we've been talking about parsing, uh, looking into our you know HTML, well not really parser, more like render, uh, fixed some bugs and uh, we have some left for today. So let's take tea and get to it. Um, and the last problem was the code span, so let me actually also uh, pick some editor to use. And uh, this was not verified uh, in init test, uh, so let's do that. Uh, let me also launch Chrome because we have used the um, uh, admin there. Right, and there is this thing uh, for me that I haven't figured out that I have to, which is that um, I have at one point configured uh, launching WordPress for me because I wanted to experiment with it as with uh, CMS. And um, there is now launching at startup and occupying the port uh, that I use by default. So, anyway, easy to fix. Let's, uh, let's have two consoles for development um, and I mean we can also go on a different port. Um, but before we go there actually let's let's go here and look at those tests. So we had a test that was testing the proper nesting, but we haven't tested the, let's call it some spanning table. So in the original string uh, we have a call span okay let's go to the normal port so that um, session is remembered hopefully and we go to the original somewhat escaped form. Uh, this is here. So let's just take this as a table. Uh, it's public, so it should be fine getting into a test. Um, we can use the Python's uh, multi-line string feature uh, to get this and let's also take a look at the original site uh, to see uh, how it was rendered so right I had it open here haven't I I had but um, yeah, so I'll go. So, um, this was this guy. I need source code. And this is what should be the rendered end result. So, expected output should be this guy. And we want to run this test. Yep. The 
Def is strong. Okay. So everything after out of yeah, first year is escaped, so maybe let's just test on a simple table whether it works correctly. So if we would do what well um are there any tables above this that work well? Um, so there is this guy, and in our render, maybe I'll remove this to the desktop as well. Um, this works well, so like simple tables seem to be working well, and. They do use table header, so it is the row span uh, that is killing it. I mean, call span in this case. Um, so this should be necessary. Okay, so what could be causing it? Well, doesn't accept any attributes is the problem. So this we need to, um, this we need to work on. How many? Attributes we do support. So the question here is going to be, uh, are we going to work on fixing this um, safer but more complicated parser that I'm not sure is um, properly working uh, or uh, we are going to expand on this naive parser. Um, let me just check uh, how Twitch is working. Because somehow um, the way the Twitch apps shows me uh, whether the stream is working is um, Let's say not optimal. Cool. That seems it it caught up. I still don't exactly know how that app works. So um, valid HTML is uh, working on the. It's uh, scheduled to work on like unreviewed user input. So the difference is that uh, we still have like, reviewed user input, which is what articles are, and then unreviewed user inputs that is way more stringent. Um, that, uh, for example, at that time I haven't even supported hyperlinks because you can do a lot of malicious uh, stuff in hyperlinks, and uh, we haven't had the guts to sanitize them properly, um, and there weren't proper sanitization libraries. Uh, so the question is whether to keep it this distinction uh, or, you know, 
fix it once and for all. And what speaks against uh, fixing it currently and for all is that um, this is only viable once we turn the original version off. Um, also because of how the uh, uh, like of of the mishmash uh, like entanglement of the escaped and unescaped entities that's used in the um, uh, in the articles. So I'm saying uh, that we should take a look at those attributes. And also take a look at uh, which one we can or can't uh, support. So this is the first uh, kind of naive attempt. Um, If we are fine with not checking uh, the value of the attributes, then this is relatively easy because it means uh, extending the regular expression with the attribute formats. Uh, but it will make it hard to take a look into the attributes and uh, somehow figure out uh, how they should be uh, processed, uh, sanitized. So that is a potential attack vector. Um, But since this is used on reviewed code only, and uh, we are c currently not really, like there are not really new submissions, then uh, I'm saying let's do that uh, and uh, open a ticket to make sure that we handle this for, uh, as soon as possible after the first version. So, um, potential HTML security impulse and one would be um, representation of the uh, of attributes. in um, equations, HTML, and there are uh, currently shouldn't be abused because um, since we're viewed uh, by editors Sanitization relies on unified HTML and, uh, and proper storage of HTML, uh, I'll HTML in our case, HTML in database. So this is something that's for the future. It's very architectural, and um, since it's reviewed, it can wait. Uh, so 
so and just for the record it falls up on uh, ach falls up on um, uh, Question of uh, do, do we have non pair tags with attributes? We do. Um, so if the tag has and it has attributes. And the default So the default tool here. Uh, this is dictionary, right? And this should be the default value. Let me double check that. Uh, so if I don't get that. Item three. Let's make it explicit. Um, Some good and the defaults to none. And in this case, it's fair. Oh, because I have decided because most of it is pair, so I have decided to only explicitly visible. Okay, this makes sense, uh, but that's not the case with attributes. So, uh, in our case, if we do have attributes. That's going to be our new code. Um, way to do it and huh wait no Whew. we have to replace with match Because what I've been thinking is, you know, let's put the star string uh, just here. Uh, and, you know, 
do the replacements. Uh, that's going to work. I mean, this should work for current uh, version. Also, no attributes in the closing tag, so this is correct. Um, but what this would would do would be to discard the attributes. Um, also, I apparently made a mistake. Yes, because I'm replacing uh, opening with ending. But uh, once we start fiddling with the regexp. Um, We will need to replace it with the reg up, the final regex match, not just the hard coded value. Uh, also, I still have done something wrong. Uh, which is. Let me just see what I actually changed. Uh, text. No. This. All right. Currently, the matching string is just tag um, because the entities are implied, and that's going to be the case for the future as well, because here we are only matching whatever is in between the escaped um, left and right uh, parentheses. So now um, the proper course of action would be to, I mean, the knife course of action, not proper, <laughs> I think, would be to go through uh, all the whitelisted attributes um, and what I've been thinking about doing is to append them to this regex string, string as optional. Uh, which has a problem that if I do that, uh, I specify the order in which they should appear. And I think that, at least I think uh, that, well, one easy way to find out. Um, let's test it. So let's keep that in mind. Um, but so what I wanted to do is to say that um, after the tag, there's always an optional um, well, not optional. This whole thing is optional. Uh, but uh, there is an there is a white space. Um, then. There is the attribute name. Uh, then there needs to be equals mark, quote mark, and I think that we have decided to enforce double quotes. Um, and in there is the content of the attribute and I'm afraid that the content of the attribute is just any word. Because um, this is potentially also for links. And actually uh, that's not a word but an non white space character. Uh, which I need to look up how would the 
particular version, Python version of syntax has to say about it. So I think I get no I don't know. Just any character that is not quite base character, which would be including quote, but this should be non eager, so that should be stopped by the quote character that we are having afterwards. So, theoretically, this should work, and um, this whole thing is optional. Um, and uh, we should call it attribute attribute string. And um, this will this should match string with attributes, uh, but will replace them with a version without the attributes. So let's see whether that's what you're going to see there. Let's figure it out because this is this is actually this means that something is wrong. Um, so maybe let me just uh, print out what the uh, final version of the string is going to be for this. saying that printing it uh, changed oh, uh, something about I think it was saving and uh, I have to place B somewhere and I keep forgetting whether it's after the normal parentheses or the Namings. Okay, so B has to go after the question mark. So this is what should give us the named match. Although we technically don't uh, need it right now because we're not using it. Right, that we. It's great. Let's not do it for now. Uh, because if we have multiple attributes, uh, then now um, the iteration means that for every attribute we are calling it uh, str under uh, attr. So um, if anything, well, I mean, uh, let's uh, call it with the actual attribute name. And also. Um, This should be a regular expression string because otherwise, but escaping stuff will happen. Um, 
So we have one failure and we can also see what is the final version produced. So we do have th call, uh, th match call sponge. This should be fine. So why are we not matching? The H plus one equals five. The H white space plus one five. And then the final version is also with entities. Um, out of curiosity. Uh, if for that, this particular version, we would say digits, um, because that would point to a problem with um, S matching and quotes. Uh, also known. Okay, and let me take a look whether in regular expressions, um, whether in R string, there is a need to escape the quotes, but it would be my guess. So of note, right? I've been just wondering whether uh, we are not reversing only the left, uh, left moments. Consequences. Uh, 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 I'm thinking whether, in case where you would have multiple matches, um, whether it's going to work properly. But um, let's fix our immediate problem first. And um, I'm just thinking, uh, let's do this. Uh, interactively um, so let me just install a button uh, into my VNV and that should fix stuff um, because uh, again I'm not sure why we don't have that match and it looks like a problem with uh, regular expression so we do have a regex that is this Then we have a string that is this. Uh, and 
and you want to do a substitution which will ignore the uh, entities for time being but that, that's fine we want to um, for this thing I mean we want to do a substitution uh, the first argument is the repeal expression the second one is the string and we want it to ignore casing although that shouldn't matter here uh, right and uh, we want to replace it with um, in this case So this is working, so if it will be like this it's working except it's not matching the call span. It's not matching the call span. Let to simplify. I don't know. I do know. Um, because uh, those are also escaped. So not... escapes um, not quotation character but the entity so yeah this worked right uh, so it's going to be called let's clean it up afterwards yes, I want to quit and now we should have the th matched and uh, replaced with a uh, single th without the tickets and that's going to be the issue And that is correct indeed. So that part is working actually. Um, so now we need to figure out how to do correct um, replacing with uh, attributes matched. And actually, we may want to. This is going to be fun. Uh, we may want to not have named groups, but only positional because we're going to use numbers. by group six and the pattern can we 
this time called Golden Pool. This is so much to the bottom, it's the five by the name. So what I'm wondering about is that uh, we do want in the replacement string uh, we want to inject uh, the matched attributes there but we also need to do uh, a replacement of the quotes And the read.sub doesn't give us any um, doesn't it doesn't give us any information on uh, uh, whether and which groups were matched. Uh, we are only doing substitutions. So in order to know, we would have to run our own uh, regular expression uh, matching first. Poof. Also of note for future references, this uh, still should be known as canons, just numbers uh, for other texts. So What we the thing is that what would help would be if we could um, have nested groups. match this as a nested group and then uh, provide the replacement in the replacement string but well beside the fact that currently we would be uh, doing both uh, like on replacement we would be giving um, at unnecessary at attributes with empty value oh. this almost sounds like uh, we will really have to go through more complicated parsing So another idea would be to do to pass is so in the first one replace all easy tags without attributes because that's uh, that's basically a speed optimization that will take care of like ninety percent of those. And in the second iteration, uh, what we could do is to do matches and then based on the matches um, properly translate the replacement string. 
Uh, this means that uh, every string is going to pro be processed like shit ton of times. Um, so, uh, but this is the stop get measure. This should work reasonably well. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> uh, let me take a look how it's, how it's actually done in uh, the current version. Because I mean, there wasn't such complicated magic, but also I think that it was because we've been going through it like one by one. Like basically, I'm supposed to through what I'm doing uh, here is going to whitelisted uh, tags and um, basically running uh, through the whole text. Um, looking for them, whereas uh, the original version went through the text and had been looking for text, as far as I remember. Uh, but uh, I also think that uh, there is this fun function HTML. This is replace text, but I've been wondering whether it was released on uh, the user text, so let me take a look. Text was using language tag, replace text. Ah, check origin words, of course. So my guess is whether this wasn't a different function, yes, of course. Uh, for fuck's sake, and that was just uh, global replacing the entities, of course, because it was considered like being done uh, uh, what was considered uh, reviewed text. Perfect. I also do wonder who commented this one out. Um, Well, that's an easy way to do it. Uh, also known as potential security uh, hole. Uh, the one active changes. Interesting. Um, Well, one of the goals of this is to try to get it under control. But if, if really in the current version, uh, people can use the full HTML. Um, then basically... Uh, Having this as a sanitizer
I mean, if there would be a security uh, hole, it would already be exposed on the main side. So potentially, uh, this whole thing is uh, just a security theater at this point. Uh, so maybe let me use this uh, as uh, something that we will iterate on as we will be cleaning up the HTML. Um, a new function for it. Uh, so HTML and let's just put this also into documentation because that's that's what you're doing. Um, so temporary replacement for just an original site. What let me in English. Um, this function relied on proper HTML editorial review. Um, very insecure and should be replaced. cleaning up yeah I'm not a Because what this is doing in this order is just replace quotes with question. Um, well, 
Oops, so it broke anyway. Let's keep on time. So replace collision mark. Uh, replace left entity. This doesn't need to be special characters on the case sensitivity. Replace uh, right entity. Um, stripping tax was discouraged. Right, and then uh, for some reason, replace double encoded non breaking space with just non breaking space entity. Uh, I think those needs to be escaped. Nah. Is this in a template tag? So this will test uh, the original function, not the new one, but we will have the template integration test. It's a more complicated test, uh, uh, test case. Um, let's do a test. Um, insecure. And this is deprecated now. So let's move it to the end. HTML render and that potentially can be relevant once we get to it. And uh, this guy just uses the output from. Uh, since I'm healthy, but I've learned my lesson um, that you know, readable better than short. And this should work out for everything. If we take a look on the site, and that worked, and if we take a look here, yeah, it started working. No, I'm still not happy about it, I have to say. 
Um, but um, yeah, this is what's working with legacy code is. Start with um, how it works and uh, then start making a better iteratively. So. HTML the same way as original site and that should actually fix uh, this uh, should actually fix the overall bug in a way. So I mean, I think that let's consider it's done and to move on to the next stuff. Uh, so well. It's no longer relevant. Uh, so this side we need to iterate with uh, HTML regex parser and uh, we think against the original content or. Um, That's what we should do. As well as at least uh, uh, display warnings. So Say and send curve circle will not work in. Uh, I mean, I think that I'm not locked to GitHub here, or am I? I am, so circle should work in Firefox as well. To your link. So once done, I should be able to um, deploy. Let's do that. And uh, that sorts out a major issue, I think. Well, a major blocker, at least. Um, for me to move forward uh, with the life and actually do. Some uh, more user facing stuff. So, this is going to go to the. Um, I mean, we are on Heroku. I would say that we haven't uh, truly figured out emails, so let's do that. But the hive has a box somewhere. Um, we don't have all creative face sections, that's true. That should be finished. And uh, one of the solutions to the mail problems is to smell gun. I haven't noticed whether they do have Heroku integration, so let me take a look. They do. So this should give us something. 
400 messages per day, so unless until I'm going to start sending news, that should actually be fine. So I'm saying, uh, let's start with that. Great, welcome for our application. Way more settings than I thought, but it's fine. Um, do they have any specific documentation for Django? Okay, actually, I do wonder why it needs a package and how old is it? Right, it's a specific data analytics, so I specifically don't want any of those. Um, this all should be verified. So all we should need to do... Exactly. Yes. Use those projects and that is in settings. All right. Also, let's make it in a branch. Um, For sound grid, and now that I look at it, um, this is always an important decision point. Like, do we? start up with all those being available and I would say yes but let's also look obvious errors uh, or at least monitor them um, that's for future but, um, Monitoring of the start of issues. Um, and, uh, well, it's not sentry, but uh, central error reporting. Uh, stuff like. HTML uh, server. The problem with not starting with a reporting is that it makes uh, like turning back in time and running all the versions much more painful. So I'm trying to avoid like hard crash uh, because this this really uh, it makes sense in the moment, but it prevents you from uh, turning back and uh, uh, you know. Uh, turning back and uh, running all, basically all the versions in a new environment. And from my experience, that is something that you want. I 
Tunda. Yeah. I, I have to find out my old dot files because uh, GitHub stream is a shortcut I created for myself. Anyhow, so. Parser is a success, so let's make a pull request um, for future generations. Um, so render creations HTML properly. Sorry, not on not master, on not parser. Similarly, it's very different. So this should get us deployed. And do the remote branch. And let's create the one for the Melgun. I'm thinking about how to test it. Uh, but I think that there should be for the passwords and um, I need to figure out an access to it. <laughs> I think I have it somewhere, uh, but I don't have it configured. Um, but at least we'll see uh, whether uh, that will create an error or not. Um, oh, well, so I have an application. Um, uh, oh, wait, oh, clocks. T, that's the T that I wanted. Yep, so we have a new build for um, taking a look at the articles by creations. So this looks better indeed. So success. And, uh, right, let's take a look what Circle has to say about the Megan success. So let's um, push that as well. Uh, so Megan. And once deployed, uh, let's change to uh, let, let's test uh, at least the email something whether it will, won't crash that will be it for it uh, for today because it's getting uh, less terribly hot uh, so I can finally go outside and uh, avoid people but uh, once done, uh, I'm saying that the next step is to get uh, all the uh, creation pages live. Uh, so get rid of those links that don't do anything. Um, it's going to be a pretty boring work. <laughs> uh, it's going to be mostly catching up with the templates, uh, but should also be reasonably fast. So. Um, let's see how it goes. Um, 
One of the reasons why I consider this uh, kind of impor I mean, I'm almost thinking about launching in that state. Uh, because when I take a look at the stats, uh, most visitors nowadays are actually still coming from search engines. Mm. Which is really amazing. Uh, if you look at how unfriendly the original uh, site is to the search engines, uh, the fact that some managed to uh, crawl at least some of it and then there is someone who actually manages to find it is pretty amazing. And it's uh, dozens of people every day, so uh, um, I would say uh, that's where the focus should be. Um, also, it of course doesn't have anything that would resemble a sitemap or something. Um, so um, that I think should also give it um, a boost and like the exposure that uh, the people in invested in writing all of this desire. I mean, you saw how long uh, those articles are. Like that's uh, that took someone a significant por significant portion of their life. I'm trying to remember whether the deploy only happens after master is green. I have a feeling it may. Um, but today uh, we have formatted ca the cache. Ah, there we go. Stuff is getting better. Also, if we are sticking with Melgan, then that's something I should recommend. Um, infrastructure shall be documented um, even when it's just running this one command. But you know, someone, uh, someone down the line, when I'll take a look uh, at it in a year, uh, I'll be happy. Also, I actually now do wonder, uh, can I do IPv6 on Heroku? Uh, it hasn't crashed. I consider it a success. Um, I should also probably log in to console uh, whether this was sent, um, but that's a different story. Get was done, post was done. Yeah, so let me take a look. Uh, uh, this would also be sorry, a little better, but anyway. Uh, let me take a look at uh, the email afterwards where it got sent. Um, thanks for watching this. And uh, uh, this finally gets us on some better track, I think. So uh, thank you and uh, see you again soon where we finally provide some new content.